Hey everyone, it's Paul Mayer with Toolmetrics, and I've been using the 14BX from Laguna in my shop for a couple years now. Been using it from everything from resawing to doing curved cuts for furniture parts and turning a lot of, uh, roughing out a lot of bowl blanks to turn on my lathe. Um, so when Laguna asked me to take a look at the 18BX, my first uh, impression was, well, it sure looks an awful lot like a 14BX with bigger wheels. But I assure you there's a lot more to the story. And that's really what I'm going to focus on in this video is really the differences between the 14BX and the 18BX. Um, if you're looking just at the 18BX, I'd encourage you still to just go back and take a look at the video that I put together on the 14BX where I had uh, both a, a one and three quarter horse and a two and a half horse. This is the two and a half horse. Uh, and, and walk through them feature by feature in that video. I'll hit some of the highlights of the similarities, but I'm really going to do a more of a deep dive on the differences so you can have an understanding of what you might get if you're stepping up from this saw to this saw. Um, before I dive into the differences, just as a level set, let me hit some of the, uh, at a high level, some of the similarities. First of all, the thing that makes a Laguna bandsaw a Laguna bandsaw is the guide system. These guides use ceramic plates that you actually press right up against the blade for a cool running system that can extend the blade life. This also makes blade installation and setup a breeze compared to other types of guides. The electronic disc braking system can not only stop the blade, but also kills power to the tool and is a convenient and safe way to stop the saw. The beefy and wide trunnions support the table rock solid at any angle. The massive frame on the saw provides structural integrity to resist flexing during heavy cutting. The worm gear blade height adjustment mechanism provides a silky smooth movement for the blade guard and guide assembly. The optional wheel kit allows me to move the massive 410 pound saw around the shop effortlessly. The optional double arm halogen light provides high quality lighting that can be focused right at the cut line. Okay, so now let's take a look at some of the key differences between the 14BX and the 18BX. The 18BX has a pair of massive 18 inch cast iron wheels that weigh more than double those on the 14BX. The wheels on the 18BX are attached with a heavy duty cast iron bracket compared to a lighter steel uh, bracket on the 14BX, which is appropriate as you scale up the size of the wheel. This helps keep deflection to an absolute minimum under heavy cutting pressure. With a dial indicator hooked up, I only measured two to three thousandths of an inch runout, which makes this one smooth running wheel. One of the main benefits of the 18BX is its huge table. At 520 square inches, the table is 51% larger than the one on the 14BX, which is no slouch in its own right. There's also 18 inches of throat capacity versus 13 and a half on the 14BX, which gives you a lot of flexibility for making large cuts. With more power and greater resaw capacity, a fence upgrade is also in order. The fence on the 18BX is upgraded in every conceivable way. It's taller, wider, and stiffer. The rail that it rides on is also made of a solid steel bar rather than a hollow one for more resistance to flexing and greater durability and accuracy. Another addition on the 18BX is an integrated stop block which is a super handy feature for precision stopped cuts and it works well in either fence position, vertical or horizontal. With a three horsepower motor, the 18BX provides a very noticeable 20% step up in power with an ability to slice through the largest and gnarliest slabs of wood that I could throw at it. I had no problem at all going to the full 16 inch resaw height capacity compared to a 13 inch max capacity on the 14BX. When it's fully loaded with a heavy resaw cut, the 18BX pulls about 13 to 14 amps, so there's plenty of headroom on a 20 amp circuit. I also noticed that the drive belt on the 18BX is about 35% wider, which provides more grabbing power while making a heavy cut. Let's take a look at the differences in blade capacity for each machine because this is a key difference that is often overlooked. The 18BX supports a blade that is 26% longer and 67% wider than that on the 14BX. These are both important differences. First, the longer blade can stabilize better than a shorter one. It's kind of like having a longer and heavier car going down a bumpy road. It just rides smoother. Also, and perhaps more importantly, 
the additional 67% more blade width gives a straighter travel line with less deflection, providing noticeably smoother cuts. Now the 14DX produces a very smooth resaw cut in its own right, but with an inch and a quarter resaw king blade, the 18BX simply takes this to another level, leaving a surface finish that is astounding for a bandsaw. Now you probably expect a big bandsaw like this to work well for resawing, but it might surprise you to see the finesse that it also provides when cutting tight curves with a 1 8 inch blade. I was able to do this with the standard guides by leaving them wide open and just using the rear guides to support the blade as long as I didn't get too aggressive on the tight radius. By switching out the standard guides for the optional mini guides, I could cut extremely tight curves. These smaller fine tooth blades leave a surface that barely needs sanding and combining that kind of finesse with the power and large table on the 18BX makes for lots of fun on these intricate projects. Like the 14BX, the 18BX has dual dust ports that are strategically positioned to maximize dust capture. Now I've found on the 14BX that I can get away with using only one dust port but with the larger interior compartment on the 18BX, the second dust port does a great job at keeping the lower wheel area clear of dust. All right, that about wraps this one up. Now, if you're on the fence between the 14BX and the 18BX, what this comes down to for me is like this. The 14BX provides most of the same features and a very similar user experience to the 18BX. But if you use a bandsaw a lot in a demanding environment, the 18BX has considerably more power and capacity than the 14BX. It's really not a small upgrade, it's a huge step up, and I bet you won't regret it if you make that leap. Well, I hope you found this information useful as you're sorting out your bandsaw decisions. If you have questions, please feel free to put them in the uh, comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and I hope you'll subscribe to the Toolmetrics channel for more DIY, woodworking, and tool-related videos.